Hello, I'm Councillor Hassan. September 21st is International Day of Peace, a day dedicated to fostering harmony and understanding across the globe. In recognition of this very important occasion, we have invited a representative from the various faith community to share their unique perspective and message of peace with all of us. So we can continue to move forward to make this world more inclusive, peaceful, and unified. Kathy Brandt, Young Yooks, Waks Garebo Gake in Yakahaku Gundagi. So I'm grandmother Kathy Brandt from Tyndanega Mohawk Territory. And Tyndanega is a very special place because it's the birthplace of the peacemaker, and which is a very special, he came with a very special message because he was a great messenger, uh, just maybe just like Jesus Christ. And so he came to the Haudenosaunee people bringing the message of peace. And so we now, uh, embrace that great message of peace by way of uh, the great law of peace that the Haudenosaunee live by. And uh, as, a, as a Haudenosaunee grandmother, um, I understand that uh, our people uh, lived in uh, longhouses, 20, 15 to 20 families. So remember how much peace you have to carry to be able to hold decorum in uh, a home like that. And so, uh, it's my understanding that the peace and the love and that good mind begin with the love of the self first. And so that means you, you have to be uh, ever vigilant in, not, in protecting your own personal peace because you can't bring your best self to any situation if you're carrying hurt, anger, guilt, shame, uh, judgment, uh, and so uh, those are things that you must not hang on to. Uh, as, uh, as per my teachings, uh, we are told that when, because we live in this unpredictable world right now, with so many things happening, but what's in your control? All that white noise of the disasters and things that are happening in the world are not your burden to carry. So. Uh, therefore, you let that go, let Creator take care of that, while you take care of your own personal peace by protecting it. And so, uh, when I say that, I know that it's not easy, uh, but uh, the universal act of prayer is always the best thing. You say a prayer for the best outcome to happen that's out in the world, so that you can bring your best self without carrying those burdens to any situation. And that is the part of the great peace and carrying that good mind. So always <laughs> love yourself first. So the first person you see in the morning is yourself in the mirror. You commit yourself to that love for the day, every day. And that's how you're gonna create that peaceful society. It starts with you. Hello, my name is Eugere, and I am a member of the Chinese Canadian Association of Kingston and District. As we approach the International Day of Peace, it's important to reflect on the values that unite us rather than separate us. A desire for unity, understanding, and harmony. This goal transcends borders, cultures, and languages, and is foundational to building strong and connected communities. In these times, we must reaffirm our commitment to fostering relationships grounded in respect and shared purpose. We encourage you to take this opportunity to promote unity and understanding through meaningful dialogue, engage with others, especially those with perspectives and experiences that might differ from your own. Let's all strive to create a community where each person can feel valued, respected, and find belonging. Hi, my name is Adam, and I'm from Kingston Christian Fellowship. You know, 2,000 years ago when Jesus was born, the angels declared peace on earth and goodwill toward men, which reveals the heart of God towards mankind. It's that everybody would feel the peace of God, that it would blanket the earth and goodwill would be toward men. 
God loves you. You're valuable. You're significant. And I want to leave you with this prayer today. It's from the Apostle Paul in the book of Philippians. It says, May the peace of God that surpasses our understanding guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The world has had some difficult years in the past four or five years, and it's affected our hearts and minds. And I'm praying that the tangible peace of God will guard your hearts and minds, heal your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Namaste. My name is Vinod Vora. I'm the president of Gitanjali Cultural Temple of Kingston and also representing Hindu community in Kingston. First of all, I want to thank everyone for giving me this opportunity to say a few words on this very important topic on peace. In Hinduism, peace is called Shanti. Peace is one of the core principles of Hinduism and is considered a fundamental aspect of life and spiritual practice. In all our prayers, rituals and even in the meditation practices, we recite a mantra called Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. In this mantra, the first word Om creates cosmic vibrations and is a symbol of divine presence in the entire universe. The word peace or Shanti is spoken three times which signifies the wish for peace on three levels of life and existence. Firstly, physical peace, non-violence, no injury to people, no harm done to people, and be kind. Secondly, mental peace, peace within us to achieve mental and emotional calmness. Thirdly, spiritual peace, spiritual harmony and internal satisfaction. So by repeating Shanti three times, we invoke peace in all of our aspects of life and existence. Of course, the physical peace is one that we mostly concerned when living together in our society. Our great leader Mahatma Gandhi always followed the path of non-violence, when we call in Hindi Ahimsa. He taught us that while we must raise our voice against any injustice in the society, but we must not be violent and use any type of violence. Our holy scriptures teach us the path of love and compassion, help and cooperation, and sharing our resources to bring eternal peace to mankind. In closing, I call upon everyone to say no to violence, be kind and respectful, be compassionate, be helpful, and be believe in giving. So I'm going to recite the mantra again. Feel free to join me. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you very much and God bless you all. My name is Jagdeep Singh Valia. I am the president of Kingston Sikh Cultural Association. I've been called here to talk about peace and um, the meaning of peace in our community. So I want to tell that peace has a very important place in our community, in our religion. All the things which are attached to, uh, which are preached for or we advocate for is connecting to the God, connecting to the superpower, connecting to the light. And, and when we are connected to the God, connected to the light, the peace comes in, the peace dawns on us. We already know that peace is disturbed when there are negative energy like hatred. And, and that's what we are trying to overcome, is to overcome that negativity, that negative force, which is taking us away from our inner peace, the peace of our mind. The peace will start from individual. It starts from our mind. If you are at peace, the peace will spread outside. If 80 to 90 percent of individuals in community, they will be at peace, there will be peace in society. So we just have to bring more peace and spread peace in individuals to almost 80 to 90 percent and we will see a lot of peaceful, harmonious, justified measures and information in our community. To do that, I think one of the questions I was asked that how can we have, how can what people can do to have peace in mind is that you have to connect something either inside 
or something outside. When you are connected to the light inside, you get peace, or you have to start thinking that there is something bigger you're connected to. That can be God, that can be light, that can be nature, that can be Mother Earth. In our community, we connect to the God. But if people who are not religious, they can connect to Earth, they can connect to nature, something bigger than yourself. And then you will see that it's not only you who is connected to that bigger than yourself, everybody is connected to that bigger than yourself power. So, I'm standing here on this earth, this earth is standing this curved person, this person, this person. We don't have to hate, we are all connected. And when we are connected, we don't have to hate. And that's how the peace will start coming. So, there will be always differences in the garden for the flowers, but the rainbow comes with different colors. Nature does not discriminate colors. We should not discriminate colors. And that's how peace will come, when we'll start accepting different colors, different attires, different skin colors, and different languages, different religions, different beliefs. So let's start accepting the colors, the differences. Let's be a rainbow, enjoy the rainbow, and we will be at peace. Hello, and assalamu alaikum. My name is Wana Rahman, and I am a member of the Islamic Society of Kingston. September 21st marks the 25th anniversary of the United Nations General Assembly's adoption of the Declaration and Program of Action on a Culture of Peace. As a Muslim, the concept of peace is one that permeates my life. The word Islam comes from the root word cinema, which means peace. On a theological level, this also refers to a willing giving of oneself to Allah, or God in English, as a means of attaining peace. The Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, had said, Verily, as-salam, or peace, is among the names of Allah he has placed on the earth, so spread it between yourselves. Allah is as-salam, the flawless, the source of peace, so when we seek peace, we should know exactly where we need to turn. Even our greetings to one another is one of peace. Assalamu alaikum means may peace be upon you. As humans, we have a natural tendency of focusing and arguing about our differences, allowing them to escalate into conflict. But these differences are how we have been made and it is what enriches us as humanity. Allah tells us in the Quran, O oh humanity, Indeed, we created you from a male and a female and made you into peoples and tribes so that you may get to know one another. This is in Surah Al-Hujurat, the 49th chapter of the Quran, verse 13. It is by getting to know each other that we learn from each other, broaden perspectives so that we may understand each other and hopefully lead to mutual respect. And it is at this point of mutual understanding and respect that we can live together with our differences in peace and work together in the mutual goal of enjoining good and forbidding evil, particularly against oppression and injustice in all spheres. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, I'm Rabbi Aaron Polanski. Peace in the Jewish tradition is a central idea. We pray for peace at every single prayer service, morning, noon, and night. And every time we recite the memorial prayer for those loved ones that we're remembering, we end that prayer with the Hebrew words, Ose shalom bimromav, huya ose shalom, aleinu vel kol Yisrael. And it means, may the one who makes peace reign in the heavens, cause peace to descend on us, on all Israel and all the world. And we say, Amen. Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia Egbunanu. I am a member of the Kingston community and have been for almost two decades. And on this International Day of Peace, I would love to um, share one of the famous words that Jesus shared in the Gospel of John. And he said, my peace I give unto you and my peace I leave with you. And that which the world does not give to you is what I give to you. And I believe that as the foundation of our Christian community, um, Jesus promoted peace. And that is something that we have carried over the last many years and centuries and decades. And so today, 
even though we have peace in our community relatively here there's so many places where there's no peace there are so many places where they wake up and there's so much chaos there's bombs there's attacks there's no safety for children for women for families for the vulnerable and so today i would love to add my voice to the promotion of peace mother Teresa famously said um, that if we do not have peace, it is because we forget that we belong to one another. And so I am asking that we see ourselves as neighbors, as friends, as brothers and sisters, as a part of a community of people called to do great things in our nation, in our communities, in our circles. And so on this day of peace, I wanna leave you with a final um, um, word from scripture in Philippians chapter um, chapter 4 verse 7 which says may the peace of God which surpasses all understanding be with you always thank you